Good morning, another day in Sarajevo. Today I'm actually traveling to Belgrade. I'm just in the east station. It's a little bit far from the city, so you need to take a tram. The tram is like 1.8 uh, miles. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what's happening here because um, yeah, it's not very apparent. <laughs> but I think that's our bus just there. There's actually a flight from Sarajevo to Belgrade, but I'm feeling a little bit adventurous today, so I thought I'd take the bus. This provides me with a chance to see the countryside of both Bosnia and Serbia, which I won't otherwise see if I'm on a plane. Take for example this town. This is called Visigrad, and it's famous for its beautiful bridge over the river Drina. It's on UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites. There's also this really beautiful church that is strategically built in the middle of two rivers. So we stopped in this town, which I assume for lunch, but I couldn't find any menu in the place that we stopped at. It's like a restaurant, but I think they're only serving coffee. Um, I tried to ask the, <laughs> the guy in charge, but yeah, there's a massive language barrier. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, try to figure it out. This is Stari Grad, a fortress near the city of Osice, the biggest city in western Serbia. This is an example of a typical medieval Serbian architecture. Historians believe that this was built in the second half of the 14th century to control movements along nearby roads and the nearby town of Osice. I'm finally here. But that was the longest bus ride I've ever taken. 11 hours. Anyway, welcome to Belgrade. Good morning and welcome to the capital city of Serbia. I'm in the main square. This is their pedestrianized main street where you can do all your shopping. <laughs> as well as being the main pedestrian zone in Belgrade, this street is one of the oldest and most valuable landmarks of the city. Named after a Serbian emperor, it features a number of buildings built during the 1870s. Just opposite the main street is the biggest park in the city and it's called Kalimigdan Park. This monument was erected as a mark of gratitude of the Serbian people to France for its help in World War I. This park is actually massive. They have dinosaur area for kids, they have museums, a fortress, a church, among others. And since it's located on a hill, it offers a magnificent view of the surrounding areas. So this is the point where the Danube and the Save rivers converge.
My next stop is to visit the largest Orthodox church in the Balkans. And it's located a little bit outside the city, it's about 30 minute walk. It started raining. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't like it but it's been so hot lately that this rain is actually quite welcome as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I think I'm here. I can see it. <laughs> oh, I can see a mongus. Look at that. I mentioned earlier that this is the largest Orthodox church in the Balkans, but there's a sign there that says that by its volume, this is the largest Orthodox Church in the world. Let's see if we're allowed to go in. now in the crypt which is a place just below or under the church and it's just as magnificent here as it is upstairs <laughs> that was incredible if you guys are in Belgrade make sure to come here it's free so most of the tourist attractions here are situated in the center apart from that church but i'd say that's worth 30 minutes of walking that looks interesting Let's see if we can go in. It's a constitutional court according to the um, receptionist and public are not allowed in, so yeah. <laughs> there is another nice looking building just ahead of us. There. Let's see if we can go in. Must be a thing here in Belgrade. That building looks so epic. There's also like a red carpet in front of it. So I wonder if we're allowed in. Check it out. Excuse me. Are we allowed? So that's the parliament building apparently. <laughs> the guard said we're not allowed in. So yeah. 
let's keep going. So just there, where is it? There, it's another really good looking building. Um, I think it's a government building as well. So I'm not sure if we're allowed to go in, but let's go check it out. Suspiciously quiet, there's no one else here. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna ask them if we're allowed to go in. Uh, so that's the mayor's office and obviously it's a working office you're not allowed to go in obviously <laughs> so yeah let's continue going that way this one here is one of the oldest hotels still operating in the country So this is the bohemian side of town, it's pedestrianized and full of restaurants. This is a replica of the water fountain in Sarajevo and was given to Belgrade as a gift. This is their train station. And look at that, how big that is. So this is a statue of Stefan Nemanja, a legendary founder of the Serbian state. His bronze sculpture weighs around 70 tons and at 23 meter high, it's the largest monument in Serbia. So now I visited their main square, which is this one, their biggest park, and their biggest Orthodox church. So I'm not sure what else to do. Um, let's go walk next to the water, the river. I'm trying to figure out how to get to <laughs> the water. I thought it'd be that way, but it's a dead end. So we're on the main road now. There's also a really nice Orthodox church just behind me. All right, but let's keep going. I think that must be the way to get down to the bottom of this hill. So it says promenade, it's that way. So yeah, we are on the right track. It's a nice open space. Right, here is the river. So I think I'm just gonna walk on the side and go as far as I can. So I think this is as far as we can go. They're still developing quite a lot of areas right in front of me and it's blocked. So I'm gonna head back. All modern high rises seem to be on this side of town. I can see that. Uh, there's a lot, there's a lot more further down. So yeah. So this is where I'll end today's video. I'm heading to Skopje in North Macedonia next, so I will see you there. Kita kids, or as we say here in Serbia, vidimo se!